Feel the beats in my heart, releasing my scars, confess on these bars, tell me that it's hard. Been punched so many times, I don't need a punchline. Running from the gutters in my mind, gutting out these rhymes. Cut my lungs, you can cut my funds, you can grab my sums, you can have my crumbs, but you never feed this hunger deep inside. I believe when I write, think about death and I'm scared. Forget about what's next, so prepared. Look into my daughter's eyes, hoping that I'll still be there. Will I see her marriage? Will you Whoever sees this and subscribes right now, get a free smile. Hey, it costs a lot less muscles than it does to frown. What's going on, YouTube? It's Willie Knox Hill, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, we have a very, very special one on deck. Yes, I'm well aware. The man, the myth, the Shakespearean bard himself, Ren, has dropped a brand new track, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So without further ado, this right here is Suicide. But before getting further listen, I want to give a quick shout out to that song in the intro. Yes, I am an artist myself. There's a good chance to like my breakdowns, but I think about music, you might like my music as well. I have an album, Butterfly Effect, charted on iTunes. I'm very, very proud of it, guys. You want to support me and support the channel directly, I'll put the links to the music below. Also, shout out to the Patreon, Patreon family, guys. Exclusive reactions and content on there. Another great way to support the channel all links below but anyways anyways know what we're here for ren step back up to the plate Let's see what you've got following content may contain i understand which proceed let's go wow that is a really cool shot right there of london and you see just like the cityscape but the way this is done like this sort of surrealist art man this is a different vibe already and i've talked about before how ren can just kind of take his voice and i love how he experiments with the production and he just like runs his voice through different synths and like different filter passes and just frequences them differently so that they sound like they're a natural part of the instrumentation like they're the instrumental itself but really he's using his voice and right here is a great example with the sound obviously you got the guitar leading us as the main chorus but right there uh, and i hear it like off to this side yeah that is his voice tailing off i can just hear him like a little bit of his tone towards the end of that tail off and i even hear like some crackly like white noise underneath as well man there's already a lot of textures and layers to the production of this and like that main voice is over here and then i also hear it either echoed over here or maybe just like a different frequency over here. But again, like when you listen to Ren, I highly recommend listening with good headphones so you can really appreciate the level of music production that he puts into it. Because it's not just the talent with his voice and the lyricism. It's some music production as well, man. That's so dope. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. Falling through the cracks with the night sky mm. I like goes out on the other side Suicide, suicide, suicide Wow. Oh, I, oh, Treading on the tracks in the night time It never really felt like the right time Suicide, suicide, suicide I'm so fucking low Wow, falling through the cracks in the night sky And now it makes sense with like the choice to go sort of like surrealist Like in sort of this dream abstract world Because obviously you can't fall into the sky But that just sets the stage for the symbolism and the artistry of that And I can't help but think when he talks about falling right through the cracks from another perspective like instead of falling up like looking up at the sky we're thinking the wrong way if you think of someone that's getting ready to jump like his friend and we talked about in the interview when he jumped he would be falling through the cracks in the night sky and then hence the suicide 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 wow that just hits a little different and then you could also think like walking along the tracks and you may think that that's innocent but you could be maybe contemplating just staying on those tracks Wow, heavy already. Treading on the tracks in the night time. Right. Falling through the cracks in the night sky. Very good rhyme writing there. Tracks in the night time. So he goes A to B. We talked about these internal to external rhymes. Ren even doing it with the singing, man. And I love just like that heavier percussion that's like underneath right now. That's like creating even further tension. It never really felt like the right time. Suicide, suicide, suicide. I'm so fucking lonely beneath this. Narcissistic, can't keep a secret. Miscount sheep. Wow, there's that pig again. He loves his pig image, right? Lonely beneath this. Narcissistic, can't keep a secret. Miscount sheep, I can't sleep a misfit. Some say trouble, but some say sadistic. Bruises my. Man, his choice of rhythm right here with the flow. And he's got more of a drop down tone. So I love how his singing 
is a little bit kind of up here in the range. And then when he starts his rapping, it's almost like he's been kind of subdued by the world, even within his tone, with that drop-down cadence. But it's really like, it's got a cool, like, back-and-forth bounce to it, like matching sort of the strum of the guitar with that flow, man. Been lonely beneath this, narcissistic, can't keep a secret. Miscount sheep, I can't sleep, a misfit. Some say trouble, but some say sadistic. Mm. Bruises miscount sheep a misfit sadistic see how he still got the good rhyme schemes throughout sheep i can't sleep a misfit some say trouble but some say sadistic bruises my brother one time or the other my skin felt counterfeit silicone rubber bruises my sister skin pop the blister dig deep resist the feeling when it hits you bruises my sister and what was it muses my brother as he muses and goes through the musings or using like music or, or using like life as your muse to create your art. It could be taken in a number of ways. And I wonder what's up with like all the changing sort of faces, right? Whether that's the demons when he gets the red eyes there that he's facing within or it may be representing like just he's taking on the voice of different people as they struggle or it could just be all the different voices and thoughts and collisions going on within his mind frame I can't sleep a misfit some say trouble but some say I mean there's like monster shots there's different like demon eyes wow this day bruises my brother one time or the other my skin felt counterfeit silicone rubber Bru what a great fucking line my skin felt counterfeit silicone rubber you know I I, I didn't feel like I was myself. You know, you, you feel like almost kind of we're in the matrix. I mean, what's reality and, and what's not? Like, we don't belong in our bodies. This is my brother, one time or the other. My skin felt counterfeit, silicone rubber. Bruises my sister, skin pop the blister. Dig deep, resist the feeling when it hits you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow, again, some of these just artistic scapes, man. They're surreal. They're haunting. Falling through the cracks of the night sky A light goes out on wow. the other side Suicide, suicide, suicide Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I Treading on the tracks in the night time I can't help but think about that, that hook differently Like the hook is so melodic, it's so catchy But at the same time, there's a darkness and a dreariness to it as well I think about that light going out on the other side And to me, that light could represent, you know, the, the end of a life where you see the lights across from you. Wow. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. Treading on the tracks in the night time. It never really felt like the right time. Suicide, suicide, suicide. Oh. Wow. This is a cool shot. We got to shout this out. Shouting out his video that we broke down, Sick Boy. And again, like this distorted bass all of a sudden comes in. And what's cool is like, you know, we're kind of elevating. We're like rising up in a sense with the hook. And then towards the end of the hook, if you notice, he just like cuts out almost all production and just like lets it breathe underneath and then just delivers that last line of suicide. And then coming out of it, you get just like that impact and he comes down with the darkness. Like see it right here? Like there's nothing happening. It's just his voice. And then there's like just this little like build up underneath. And then it just kind of hits again and just drops in very gritty and muddy. I'm so fucking washed up and seasick. Masochistic kid with a split lip, six feet deep. I'm so washed up. You know, when you feel washed up, but also he takes it as a double meaning right there and a little bit of a double metaphor. Right when you're feeling like just seasick of life, but literally being seasick and like being washed ashore, and then masochistic with a split lip. But if you think about being masochistic, then you know you're almost deriving pleasure from hurting yourself. So in this case, I take it as he's got like a split lip, maybe from life he's been busted up, but he's the one that's done it to himself. And you just struggle with this sort of self harm and self doubt and this vicious cycle within and it's almost like you get so used to this this becomes like your new homeostasis Kim washed up and seasick masochistic kid with a split lip six feet deep i can't eat i'm nervous won't stay down because my body purges useless mom won't stay down because my body purges now we're playing off a sick boy and the fact that he just struggled because his whole body chemistry was altered going through the wrong medication and the wrong cycles of life and he couldn't figure out what was wrong with himself and yeah i feel like when you go through that there's a lot of self-blame that happens too and and you start to almost like 
become in battle with your own body because your body won't even cooperate with you. And I can't imagine what that does to your mind and the turmoil from that. And it can definitely lead you down a darker path and more suicidal type thoughts. I can't eat, I'm nervous. Won't stay down because my body purges. You and then I wanted to point out the, uh, the six feet line as well. Right, because normally graves are dug six feet deep. So in this case, he could feel like he's sinking, but also that six feet to me makes me think of like death and graves. So I think there's that metaphorical symbolism with the lyricism as well. I can't eat, I'm nervous. Won't stay down because my body purges. Mm. Useless, my mother. Can't keep in my supper. Skin so pale because my cheeks leak color. Truth is my father. You choose your karma. Draw for the sword, then drive through the armor. Wow. Truth is my father. But before that, I think he said, use is my mother or useless my mother. Look, can't keep in my nervous. Won't stay down because my body purges. Useless my mother. Can't keep in my supper. I think it's useless my mother. And maybe he's feeling useless. He can't keep down his supper. And this, uh, there's a lot of sort of, of mirror writing. Like when he started this verse, he was sort of mirror writing with the first verse, the way that he came in with it. And then he talked about his brother and his sister, and he used those as metaphors um, and personifications within the words that he chose in that first verse. And now he's doing it again with the second verse, playing off a of truth and useless, right? Useless being mother, truth being his father, and then karma coming around and feeling like he's piercing through the armor. Skin so pale because my cheeks leak color. Truth is my father. You choose your karma. Draw for the sword and drive through the armor. What was that? That's really cool. You see the moon just like appearing right there, almost like a reflection. But you just saw like two figures like crossing the road almost or whatever that path is. And all of a sudden the moon shouldn't be there. And see what I mean? How like worlds and imagery just get like flipped on their heads. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. Treading on the tracks in the night time. It never really felt like the right time. Suicide, suicide, suicide. Suicide, suicide, suicide. suicide. Suicide, suicide, suicide. Suicide, suicide. There's a shout out to busking right there. But you know, I really get this vibe of this hook of, of Ren just like walking down the street, which you see through the visuals almost as he kind of reflects on life and his past and goes through this drifting of thoughts, right? And it's almost like he's kind of contemplating that and like dipping his toe in the water of it but at the same time it never really felt like the right time for him that feels more personal right but at the same time i think while he thinks about his own personal struggles and experience i think there's also that external struggle and experience dealing with the death of his friend dealing with losing of others who have gone down that path ultimately and he's also written it in a way so that you know again you kind of want to sing along to it but you can connect and put your own story within that chorus, within that hook. Suicide, suicide, suicide. Suicide, suicide. Piano. It's hard to take off from the ground when your wings are cut. Your stomach burns when you're drinking from an empty cup. Mm. You know the entire ocean came from my tear ducts. I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double dutch. I guess I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double dutch. And this kind of makes me think of the tool track that we broke down with the Fibonacci sequence. And you know, you can find the Fibonacci sequence, you can find the Fibonacci spiral within nature. Like there is an order to the seemingly chaos of the universe and how the world works like there there is beauty and order and math so so i see it as that beauty of fibonacci sequences and like getting kind of lost in those numbers and then the double dutch is interesting we talking like double dutch jump rope in the classic double dutch isn't there a i think there's a slang for double dutch too like uh you know when you have sex with birth control and a condom but i don't think it's that i don't think that applies here and then, like, the etymology of Double Dutch, too, plays off of, um, like, because the Dutch were, it was really hard to understand the Dutch language. So, like, Double Dutch, like, you're doubling down on the Dutch, so you're saying, like, incomprehensible things. You, it's really hard to understand. So, I could take it as, like, the world through Double Dutch, this incohesion, 
or maybe like the simplicity of childhood in the games of Double Dutch, or even because I just talked about so many different layers and meanings to Double Dutch, maybe that's how he sees the world. Like it's complex, it's complicated. It's a great line. And then the line before, the entire ocean through his tear ducts, through all the tears that he's cried over the years and even take off the ground, like clipping your wings. Like there's some great metaphors here. When your wings are cut, your stomach. And notice how like everything dropped out of when he said the chorus again, like we talked about and everything just breathed. And in this case, we just had a complete production change with this piano. And like, again, he's got sort of a different tonality to his voice and his style of delivery in. Like he's really bringing us in right now. Burns when you're drinking from an empty cup. That's a great you know, line. The entire ocean came from my tear ducts. I see the world through Fibonacci sequences and double dutch. I guess there's some that's born lucky. There's some that's not. Mm. I tried to cut away my bitterness. Hatchet job. Ooh. I locked my youth inside a trunk. It's a very like Drake style line right there when you don't like fully say the simile i try to cut away my bitterness dot 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 hatch a job and you just let that fill in the blank for the metaphor and that's not and that's so true some some are lucky you know we don't all start on the same path within life like some of us start ahead some of us start behind we're not all from the same social classes and backgrounds and families and childhoods and uh you know everybody goes through different experiences in life that's for sure tried to cut away my bitterness hatchet job i locked my youth inside a trunk inside a pickup truck then dumped the whole thing over that same bridge the night you jumped oh. i think about that sometimes vividly what it felt like to look down and see tranquility one sudden movement in the world of possibility only one movement to expose our fragility I fucking miss you, and I miss myself. I miss thinking we were indestructible as well. I miss chilling by the pier cave and kicking back with Callum Hugo, saying you're Justin Stevie and the fucking lads. I miss missing that and on myself to close the gap. I never even call them up. The distance is my plastic ass. The truth is that the day you jump, my childhood jumped too. But I still can't find that angle. All I find is missing you, man. I miss you. With all my rhymes, I picture running five minutes quicker. I'm right on time. I picture pulling you back over the edge, and then we're crying and holding you, my brother, and telling you that it's fine. Not the way that it worked, cause I was late like a jerk. There's not a day where I could find a way to break from the hurt. Your body missing, so we never got to wave to the hearse. I hope you're listening. I love you, man. I miss you absurd. Fuck. I'm not crying, you're crying. It just didn't feel right to pause and talk about some of those lines. I, I think he just had to let the, the emotion and, 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 and the wave of that hit you because, wow, I mean, that's, that was powerful. That was raw. That was vulnerable. I was just burying your soul out on, on, on the track right there. And, and, and we kind of had a little bit of this moment when – you know, we, man, words are hard. When, when we went through the interview, right, and, and he talked about, you know, losing his friend and how, you know, he was calling him and how he was trying to get to him. And if he was only minutes earlier, you know, if, if he was only there a little bit sooner, and I can't imagine what it's like to deal with that what if in your mind. And you can feel guilty about that and feel like you hold yourself accountable the rest of your life. And how do you how do you deal with that? Because that's such a huge burden to deal with and, and to cope with. And I think this is maybe one of the reasons why he's done this track is because music is this outlet, this this way to release, this way to figure out a way to deal with the complexity of, of emotions and, and the traumas and the scars that we carry with us. And in another sense, I think it's a way to, to pay homage to someone so dear that he lost and such powerful lines playing off of, you know, his childhood being, you know, put in a truck and driving it off. Cause basically like his, that childhood youth and innocence was lost right there with death. Like, like losing someone so close to you and so important to your life. It's almost like you lose a part of yourself and, and you're never fully whole from that again. And even at the end when he just lets himself go, I mean, those are, those are real tears, man. Like that's, that's legitimate emotion. And there's even like these moments of pain and aggression within his voice. And that's just just raw, just raw delivery. Like maybe maybe I'll break a little bit of this down now. Like, oh, wow. 
Man, there's some really good lines. Sudden movement in the world of possibility. Only one movement to expose our fragility. Only one movement. Oh, oh. Like those lines talking about sort of contemplation of doing it. Contemplation of jumping. The movement in the world of possibility. One movement. That's it. You just step out over that ledge. And there's so many sort of possibilities. You could have not done it. Only one movement to expose our fragility. And that's it. Expose our fragility. Because we learn how human we are, aren't we? Because there's, there's no coming back from that point. Once you've made that decision, whatever it is for going down that route. I mean, we realize we're, we're just flesh and bones. I fucking miss you, and I miss myself. I miss thinking. That's powerful, too. I miss you, and I miss myself. I'm, uh, because you, you lose. You, you lose a part of you, man. You were indestructible as well. I miss chilling by the pier cave and kicking back with Callum Hugo, saying you're Justin Stevie and the fucking lads. I miss missing that. I know myself to close. I mean, it's just like, this is what music does to you, though. It just takes me back. Like I, I lost my best friend to cancer, and he he never smoked a day in his life, never did. And he got diagnosed with lung cancer, and then he went through chemo and and all this shit, and he he didn't even make it to his twenty first birthday, unfortunately. And and I just remember kind of afterwards and the the darkness and the thoughts within. We, we had had a stupid fight, too, right before he got diagnosed. And, like, just dealing with all that, this just this, this puts me in that place and, and in that zone. And what it did do as well at that time, especially, like, I, I get that line. Because you do lose a part of yourself. And also, like, this period of, like, being young and, like, stupid and just, like, we used to, like, drive around and skip class and do stupid shit. Like, that, that period was gone after that. You know, there's, there's that innocence is out the window and you're never going to get that back in, in those moments. And I know I'm, I'm placing myself in a completely different perspective and experience, but this is, this is what music does. It just draws the emotions out of you, doesn't it? Gap, I never even call them up. The distance is my plaster cast. The truth is to the day. And that's a great line. I never even called them up. The distance is my plaster cast because it's hard to then get in touch with those who were around those times and those memories because all it does is just bring all that bubbling back up and it's almost like we we have to keep that distance and that delay in order to to cope in in order to find a way to to move forward with our lives jump my child to jump too but i mean that too my child to jump too still can't find that angle all i find is missing you man i miss you with all my rhymes, I picture running five minutes quicker. I'm right on time. I picture pulling you back over the edge, and then we're crying and holding you, my brother, and telling you that it's fine. Not the way that it works, cause I was late like a jerk. There's not a day where I can. And great choice to bring these strings in too, and just bring it up a little bit. Find more. a way to break from the hurt. Your body missing, so we never got to wave to the hurts. I hope you're listening. I love. And that, I mean, and you don't even get like that closure because they still haven't found his body to this day. So you, you can't even have kind of that at the very least. You might not miss you absurd. <laughs> wow. I don't. I mean, I know I'm supposed to sit here and like keep analyzing and breaking stuff down, but. I don't really have any more words. I was haunting. I was beautiful. I was sad. I was dark. I was everything. I was art. I was music. Ren, you were Noxo certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen, if you're here at the end, please do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. It really, really does go a long way. Subscribe, notifications on. Also, a very important uh, note I want to make that if if you're going through it please don't be afraid to get help we are not in this world alone no, nobody can bear all of the burdens of this world because I mean life sucks man life will kick you when you're down but you know hold on to those who you love hold on to your friends hold on to your family hold on to the ones you hold dear and sometimes it's okay to admit that well you're not okay and it's okay to be vulnerable and, and you're not a burden on others and, and you are not, you know, a challenge for other people to deal with. You know, don't, don't 
let the pride of the situation be your downfall because we all go through darkness and, and we all go through doubts and keep going and keep persisting and keep continuing because sometimes the night is darkest before the dawn and there is a light at the end of that tunnel. I love you guys. I'll catch you again.